Well, you better believe it, guys. Four more iced coffees. That makes it 12 in total that I will have tested out. But these four are special little babies. Yeah. These ones are all double strength, extra shot. So we should have here something twice as strong as anything that I've previously tested. I've got V, which is a, a new one for us to try out today, made in New Zealand. And Rush and Icebreak, both made by Parmalat. And uh, Dare, made by LD and D, I believe. Interesting, these two little babies are the only ones that tell us about caffeine. These two obviously have caffeine, but there is no information about what caffeine content they have. Let's get right into it and start off with the V. Double espresso instant coffee. This one with Igorana for extra energy. I would suggest that one of these a day would be more than enough for your daily requirements. I've been to over 10 supermarkets just to get these four. I was hoping to get Farmers Union, just couldn't find it anywhere. What does the V do for me? Can immediately taste that it's stronger than the previous ones that I've had. Still obviously a flavoured milk drink rather than a full-on coffee drink. So far it tastes pretty good. Okay, we'll set that as our standard. Rush Double Strength Espresso with Robusta Beans. A different taste. There you go. Don't know if I could say it's better or worse, but it is different. Surprising what you find doing this. A slightly sharper taste but still stronger, obviously stronger from the previous varieties. A preference of one over the other? Wow, that's really hard to say. Let's just leave them there together and move on to Ice Break. Ice Break Extra Shot Real Coffee Ice Cold. But I cannot tell you a thing about the caffeine level. Looking ever so slightly browner than the other ones. Ice Break has a slightly higher sugar content and you can taste it. It's not huge. I'm guessing that that sugar content will be the thing that makes the Ice Break slightly more popular. And in light of that, I'm going to put it up top. The V has a higher sodium content. The sodium content is double in the V of the dare. They're all very similar looking. The sugar and the sodium levels might be the thing that makes the difference rather than the coffee level. The caffeine level on the V and the dare are almost the same. The coffee flavour on all of them is very similar. The dare is going to move up. I'll just run through each one again to see if I can pick anything up, but at the moment that's my preference. These two are very similar though. I think ever so slightly better flavour from the ice break. But what makes that difference? Well, beyond my abilities to tell I think. There is a difference though to the V and that could be the Garana. Definitely a different flavour there. And I have to say that I prefer the flavours coming out of these two to the Garana. To the, to the V. I think with the Rush, I'm actually picking up that it's got less sugar. These ones, the difference is the sugar, perhaps a bit of sodium. I'm going to put the V down the bottom. <laughs> the Ice Break and the Dare are very similar. The Rush is different, but it's just that lower sugar, slightly higher sodium level. And the V is a taste all on its own. Next up, I'm going to actually make an iced coffee of my own. My own ingredients down in the kitchen. See how that turns out compared to all of these. I wish I could have got that Farmer's Union. It would have been great to throw it into the mix to see how it turned out. Well, there you go. I've had enough caffeine today to kill a horse. Now I'm angry. Wow. That sauce is fiery. First up in this taste test, I can tell you that McDonald's...